So here is my Pentax 645. Still in, thankfully, in working condition. So I got the camera off of uh, Facebook Marketplace and it came missing the shutter dial. And I, I just I just could not afford to buy uh, another. I actually have a broken body, but that also didn't have the shutter dial. So I think someone already scavenged it. So here I am without a shutter dial. So I 3D printed one, and I'm just gonna try to demonstrate how to attach it. But basically, what I've done is there is a um, there is a pattern here. It's like uh, here, here, and here, where something can like key into. So I've pretty much just 3D printed an extrusion that matches that pattern. So when the shutter dial is on, it does attach pretty firmly, but it won't stay on. So you have to glue it on. Um, and the second part is the actual mechanism that releases the shutter dial so you can go to the next if you if you're an automatic you can go to a thousandth or whatever what have you so this is usually flies off with this part and key to the repair is a spring so I was lucky and my spring stayed in place so if you're unlucky and you don't have a spring you're not SOL you just you just I mean I'm planning another model where it, it just permanently depresses that thing so you can uh, you can just you, you don't get stuck in a you, you know it's kind of always freewheeling where you're always pushing down on that mechanism and you can you can go to a and come out of a stay in a and all that but if that spring is missing basically you can't have the auto lock function but you can still use the 3d printed model you just have to kind of merge the the two of them together which i will provide a model that does that so basically the plan is to apply some contact, a little pool of contact cement in here, here, and here, and here, and likewise a little bit on here as well. And then also a little bit on the perimeter. But you don't want to glue, you don't have to apply any glue on these circle parts because they are actually part of the mechanism that dips. So this needs to be free. This is uh, actually the screw that would have, these black pieces are the old shutter dial. So they're part of it. So in theory, I could make a model where there's a screw hole in here. And then if you take the top cover off, you can take those screws out. And then actually attach this piece on with a screw, but you'd have to take the top cover off. And that is not it's not a trivial task. So I think gluing it with uh, contact cement. I just use some uh, wood weld, and it's pretty pretty effective. So that's what I'm going to use, and I like it because it is releasable. You can put um an after on it and it would break down and you could take the part and model off if sometime in the future you do find a, a donut body so yep let's get to it all right so i'm gonna try to apply some adhesive I don't like this stuff because it draws, but it's a good amount.
And then I would just apply a little bit, ever so slightly, a little bit, um, more like a smear. See, these will not blow dry, try to get it as evaporated as possible. With my air puffer. And then on the perimeter, just so just use a puffer to quickly evaporate as much as the volatiles as I can. The plan is to clamp it down with one of these. So I believe right now I'm in A. I can check that by turning, trying to turn out. In A, you can't turn out. When you're in a thousandth, you can turn out to 500. So I just set the dial to A. And it sits in place. Verify that the button is free. I push the button, turn out. Can turn out, and push it, and can turn back in, and I'm just gonna clamp it. Just checking to see that everything is even. That's it. Hopefully I didn't get too much squeeze out. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna check that. So I'm gonna release the clamp. And then check that the button is free. It's still free, that's good. And then check that I can turn out. Turn out, and then I'll reattach the clamp. Well, if you're gonna be doing this, um, yeah, again, use some contact cement because the bond can easily be broken. Please don't use super glue. Please don't use super glue. If it goes bad, and it goes bad. I, you know. Another thing you could do if you're printing this yourself, you can also make the tolerance for the inner diameter of the shutter dial. You can make it a little bit wider so it rubs against the that center column and that gives you like a friction fit and you can, you know, take it out whenever you want and pop it back in. The only problem is that would probably work better with the without the spring and that center button lockout. Cause that spring pushes up on the, um, on the mechanism. So I'm even worried about the glue holding against that spring. So I think eventually the glue will fail and you would have to do this again. But these are all little like tiny details. I think if you use a uh, releasable glue Solvent releasable glue that's plastic safe. The solvent's plastic safe, so I'm not using acetone to release it, just um, naphtha. Then I think you probably are on a good path to do this. Well, hope it. And then also, yeah, those um, extrusions, uh, the tolerance is pretty tight in the model I've made. So. You might have to do a little bit of filing and post work to get it to sit very nicely. But yeah, hope uh, your repair goes as good as mine. <laughs> Happy shooting.